Hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. I want to try my dilly beans that I canned last December. It's been about four months, they should be good to go and I'm excited to try these. So, on a day like this, why not do something indoors that's kind of fun. Okay, so what are dilly beans? If you're unfamiliar with that term, simply green beans that you've canned a certain way and they call them dilly beans. It's probably more fun for the kids to call them dilly beans than hey, eat some canned green beans. But either way, I'm excited to try these. Now, I did a video on this, which I'll put a link to right here, but I'll show a few highlights of what I did preparing these right now and then we'll come back and give them a taste test. Okay, now that you've seen all that, the total canning time, I don't think took more than 40 minutes total. I made three, three jars, put them in the bottom of the pantry, and honestly forgot completely about them until last night. So I was like, you know what, let's, get up, let's do these today. I've been itching to try them. Now, as you kind of saw in the clips, we've got dill, coriander, jalapenos in this one, onion so there's a lot in this one I didn't do the same in all of them like this one doesn't have any jalapenos but this one does you can see them right there so we're gonna give this one a shot I'm excited and I found these okra <laughs> that I canned back in 2022 in the back of the pantry so we're gonna give both of these a shot hopefully there's no issues. Now on this one, there's jalapenos. There's a Thai chili in there, some garlic. So these should actually be pretty, uh, should be spicy. We'll see, who knows? Okay, so <laughs> we'll do the dilly beans first. Okay. Ooh, man. All right, let's get one from down deep. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my word. Y'all, these are crunchy. Crunchy. That is so good. You know what? There's no, there's almost no heat to this either. There's a tiny, there's a tiny bit of spice, nothing crazy. The flavoring is out of this world. And the crunch, that one right there, you could really taste like a, that was a little sour, like a pickle. You could taste the onion, the dill. There's coriander seed in here also. Ma'am. Y'all might end up watching me eat this whole thing. Oh my goodness. Those are so good. If you all like green beans or you like pickled things, and hey, if you're you've <clears throat> and hey, if you've never canned anything or done water baths or any of that kind of stuff and, and canning your own vegetables and stuff from your garden. I'm telling you right now, 
I, I'm going to do a whole bunch of these. That is so good. I am shocked how good that is. In honesty, I've canned carrots that Darren and I tried together, and they were really good. Good carrot flavor. I mean, really good, but not as crisp as this. Th these things are so crunchy. Man, I'm shocked. Again, go watch that video if you want to see the entire process of me canning these. That is so good. I'm almost scared to try these now because I don't think they'll live up to that. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Now, there's different types of okra in here. There's regular, I want to say these are the uh, Clemson Spineless, or it might be an emerald one. Honestly, y'all, I don't remember. I grow so much okra and so many different types of okra. I honestly can't keep it all together. I want to say these are Star David okra down here at the bottom, these bigger ones, but I'm not sure. Not gonna lie to you, but I can these on that date. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. I'm excited. Ooh. All right. Man. You can smell the heat. Man, you can smell the heat. Yeah, I don't want to do a real big one yet, just in case I don't like them. So we'll do that one right there. <laughs> the spice. You can totally feel the spice right away. Hits your tongue. Goes down the back. Not too bad, though. I mean, it's not like burning my mouth off or anything. Or, um... If you all like a little bit of spice on stuff, this is that little bit of spice. This isn't overwhelming, overpowering, or anything. You get the good okra flavor, but without it punching you in the face. Like the okra is there, you can taste it, but the spices and the heat are right there right alongside it like very good very good i'm gonna try one of these big ones can't even get down to them i packed them in they're so good didn't i <laughs> here we'll do a big one here and you know okra gets a bad rep with the the uh, sliminess that comes with okra all that is is a really strong starch that comes out as a slime i forgot the term for it there is an actual term for it, and I'll put it up on the screen right here when I remember it. But um, if you can your own okra, now these aren't as crisp as those dilly beans, not by a long shot. But uh, man, I'm telling you, these are really, really good. Mm. Those peppers in there, I think I did three. One, two, yeah, I did three or four of those cayenne peppers, some jalapenos, I think one full or two jalapenos in there, some garlic, and it looks like some dill seeds, but y'all, that is so good, so good. My favorite still are these right here, um, the, I don't even, those are beyond good, beyond good, man. But hey, everyone, that's the video. I highly encourage you that if you are gardening, if you're new to gardening, obviously learn everything you can about gardening. Focus out there, garden, garden, garden. Absorb all the knowledge you can, the experience, failures. Failures will produce way more success in the future than just getting everything right, right off the bat. But once you get good at gardening or you get that green thumb, you get that, that itch to just be gardening, start expanding the world of this, this DIY kind of world. Start looking into canning. I've got some videos out on canning different things. I absolutely love it. I love the process. And like today, I love the results. I've also gotten into sourdough baking, which I'm actually doing right now. As I'm filming this video, I've got my two sourdough bread loaves proofing over here right now. 
also gotten into making my own pastas, which I've done a video, a few, one or two videos on that, one with Darian earlier this year. So what am I saying? Gardening was a gateway for me to start doing all this other stuff. And y'all, I, I, I absolutely enjoy and love baking a loaf of bread, giving it to someone, and then them telling me how good it was or how bad it was. You know, I just, I love the feedback is what I'm saying. When I make spaghetti now, I make my own spaghetti. And that spaghetti is so much better than the store-bought stuff, like by a long shot. So um, broaden your horizons, try new things, experiment, and y'all, you, you just never know what new passion you're gonna find. And it all starts, for me anyway, it all started by planting a few plants in the backyard, going through some stuff and uh, just finding the passion that I have had been missing for so long. So anyway, y'all take care, God bless. Get in the garden, plant, harvest, can, eat. Talk to y'all again real soon.